They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And you know what? I agree with that assessment. Hi, my name is Trey, and this is my 2022 breakfast guide to Ocean City, Maryland. In this video, I'll take you to the top five places that I think are Ocean City's best breakfast spots. Now, you may find that your favorite breakfast spot didn't make the cut and it didn't make this list. Not to worry though, list your comments in the section below. Let me know why and how I got it wrong. Hey, I'm married, I'm used to the criticism. And tell me what restaurants, what breakfast spots should have been in this list. And as always, continue to watch, like, subscribe, follow me on this channel for more great information. But for now, let's go check out these restaurants Let's see what they're all about. Oh, hello there. Malia's Cafe is a local favorite, currently ranking number two for best breakfasts in Ocean City on TripAdvisor. With an assorted menu of breakfast favorites, there's something for everyone at this small cafe under the Spinnaker Motel. So today I'm at Malia's Cafe and we're trying their breakfast because I've heard rumors that it may be the best breakfast in Ocean City, Maryland. We're about to test that theory. Well, I must be here very early this morning because rumor has it this place gets packed. All right, so what we got going here is a chip beef omelet, an English muffin, and hash brown. So I was told that the chip beef omelet is very popular. Again, it's time to test theories. Put our uh, put our theories to practice. Chip beef omelet. It's interesting. Well, look at this, guys. Look at all that goodness in there. That is quite an omelet. This omelet is like hangover food. This is the kind of stuff you get at like 3 in the morning after you've been out of the bars. If you're a chippy fan and you're an omelet fan, you're going to like this one. Parking is very limited and it's street parking. Maybe, maybe 20 parking pads available, and um, they're only open from seven to 12. So beat that rush, get here early if you wanna try Malia's. From Malia's Cafe, we move on to my number four pick, a place that has a long history on the peninsula, though never one I went to in the plus 37 years I've been coming to the beach, but that all changed this year. Bayside Skillet has a huge following, and it's not for nothing. Coming in at number 8 on TripAdvisor's Best Breakfasts in Ocean City, they've been serving up breakfast for the locals and visitors since 1977. We are at one of Ocean City's most popular breakfast spots today, the Bayside Skillet. They're known as the Crepe and Omelette Place, so I'm going to have an omelette, I'm going to have a crepe, I'm hungry, come along. My favorite thing about Bayside Skillet has to be the freshly squeezed orange juice station. See this guy here? He's squeezing the life out of those oranges, one after another. Nothing like a daily dose of vitamin C and arthritis. But let's get back to the food, and let me tell you about this beautiful plate in front of me. So I have the leprechaun omelet. Man, this is insane looking, yeah. So it comes with uh, little chips here with uh, green salsa on it, chorizo inside potatoes inside. It's a very Irish kind of omelet. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one right here. I like it. The salsa gives it a nice little touch. It's a salsa verde maybe. Green salsa on top. A little spice to it. So you kind of have a uh, mix of two worlds here. Irish and Mexican, Tex-Mex, no, that's good. Egg is the ultimate base. It's used in almost everything, every recipe around the world. And um, that's also true with an omelet because you can put so much in an omelet and 
you don't really have to think too hard about what you're doing. So here with the chorizo and the potatoes, they make sense in the omelet, but what I didn't think of are using these nacho chips. So it's a good synergy between the chips and the sausage and the egg. It all kind of works together. It's almost the kind of thing you would fix after you come in from a night of drinking and you're looking for random stuff in your uh, kitchen and you just throw something together. You're like, yeah, I also want a side of uh, nacho chips with my uh, eggs. Well, somebody figured it out here and the formula works. Awesome home fries. They're really good. I really like these home fries. It's really good. So that's crab in there, and what else? Cheese? Crab, cheese, egg, and old bay. And you get your crepe there, too. Do you like the crepe? Have you had it yet? This is what they're known for. Crepes are very popular in France. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. It just tastes like sweet paper. So sweet. It's time to leave Bayside Skillet and head southwest, because for my number three pick, we're going into West Ocean City. We're in West Ocean City, and today, we're at the Surfside Rooster. Welcome to one of a handful of places that bucks the conventional notion of a traditional breakfast and opts for boutique-style breakfasts that are as eye-catching and unique as they are satisfying. Coming in at a surprising number 24 on TripAdvisor's best breakfasts, I can only assume it's because visitors aren't venturing as much across the Route 50 bridge. But hey, that's good news for the locals who love this place. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. That looks fantastic. Isn't that good? Oh my god. Mm. I head back into the heart of Ocean City to take you to my number two favorite. Just a tick better than the number three spot it occupies on TripAdvisor. I'm talking about Barn 34. Welcome to Barn 34. We're home, known for Captain Crunch French Toast here, and we're also known for Egg Benedict. One of the good Egg Benedicts that we have is Lobster Benedict. Please come by and see us. How can you go wrong when your first drink in the morning is a chili and mango mimosa? Chili and mango mimosa, guys. Bon appetit. Whoa, that's very good, yeah. What makes Barn 34 so special is an eclectic menu of breakfast options you might not imagine at first, but grab your attention the further you scroll down that menu. Barn 34 awards the adventurous eater who wants more than a pancake, a couple pieces of sausage, and an egg with a few vegetables thrown in. Obviously, someone took the time to think through this menu. Barn 34 has a cult-like following ever since opening in 2014. Expect long wait times up to an hour or more in the peak summer months. But I promise you, the wait is well worth the price of admission. All right, so it's time to try the fried gates. Fried gates, anyone? Wrapped in bacon. Stuff with chorizo sausage, and it's a date of all things. So, <laughs> Captain Crunch French Toast. All right, now time for the uh, Captain Crunch French Toast. Mm. Oh my God. 
That, that should be illegal. So, uh, when you can't decide between two different breakfast meals, just get them both. What do we have here? We have Eggs Benedict with blackened swordfish. And over here, this is an omelet with cream chip beef. We've arrived at my number one pick. And surprise, TripAdvisor agrees with me, ranking Sahara Cafe the best breakfast spot in Ocean City, Maryland. It's small, it's unassumingly tucked away in the Sahara Motel, and they average four to 500 people a day in a restaurant that only seats 75 and is only open until 1.30 p.m. So when you're thinking of Old Town Ocean City, you've got to think of Sahara Cafe. Um, we're here on the opening weekend of 2022, and this place is packed to the gills. It's a real tribute to the Grateful Dead. A lot of Grateful Dead memorabilia here, and a lot of people. And the menu, man, it looks fantastic. Let's dig into some of this food, and uh, I'll show you what they have here. So in some places, you have to ask for what you want. I need syrup, I need sugar, I need creamer. Not here, you guys. You're going to find it all on the table, ready to go. Check that out. My wife said she likes that because, you know, you don't have to bother the waitress. So it makes good sense. That looks so good. I'm going to get it. So good. Mm. Right here. Thank you. So let's break this down. I got a Taylor pork roll, sausage, Spanish omelet, and corned beef hash. Sam, he got eggs benedict with crab, right? Girls got pancakes. And what'd you get, huh? Spinach feta omelet. Spinach feta omelet. Have you tried the sausage yet? This is some of the best sausage I've ever had. No cap. Corned beef hash, anyone? Mm. Mm. That's so good. If you're dieting, this is not the time or the place to tempt fate. You will eat a lot, and the portions are huge. Traditional breakfasts are a dime a dozen. It's just great to find a place that does it right on so many levels. All right, so let me say that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting kind of a mid-tier breakfast, something that maybe the old folks come to, but this, Sahara Cafe, was one of the best breakfasts I've ever had. I'm not putting flourish on that or anything else. I want you guys, when you're in Ocean City, to come down and to try this place. The reviews, no doubt are great, it's spectacular. They're on TripAdvisor. They're everywhere where people are talking about restaurants and breakfast experiences. So you gotta get here early. The hours I think are like seven to 1 p.m. You can double check me. But um, definitely come here because there wasn't a single thing on my plate that I didn't like. And I had some stuff that I would n normally not eat like um, the pork roll, for example, and the uh, corned beef hash, which was phenomenal. You don't get corned beef hash like that anywhere else. So. Definitely come here, guys. Get yourself up out of bed in the morning and make sure when you're in Ocean City to make Sahara Cafe a stop. I'm serious. Thanks for traveling with Trey. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.